What you are looking at right now is likely the last effort to try and attempt to locate this supposed time capsule. You see a forklift right now attempting to lift roughly 8,000 pound cornerstone of the Lee statue. They have been working on this corner all day as they have finally freed it from the base. You see the shake of the forklift as it takes that cornerstone out and crews now about to look underneath where they think the time capsule is supposed to be in Clark Mercer. The governor's chief of staff looking on saying that basically if they do not see the time capsule in that spot underneath the uh, cornerstone, then they will likely stop looking for it and tomorrow would come back to put the pedestal back together and just holding this shot right now to see if they swing this around enough for us to get a better look at what is there as they you can see the crews looking underneath the cornerstone trying to get a shot here and trying to see if there's maybe something buried in the base of it or if there's going to be something on the ground but like I said, Clark Mercer, the chief of staff for the governor, says if they don't find anything here, they are likely going to stop working. They will not dig into the statue anymore and work starting tomorrow to put it back together and to put in that new time capsule. Here's what he had to say about 30 minutes ago. Trying to lift that up. You see that it's, it's not coming up cleanly because there's stones still sitting next to it. So they're going to move those. We're going to try to, to move that cornerstone and get a good look at what's underneath it. What's underneath it is rock fill rubble with mortar so it's, it's hard you can't move the rocks around that's what we just tried to do and that'll give us a good look again and here is that cornerstone right now in front of us finally removed after roughly 10 hours of work and we'll hopefully find out in the next 30 minutes or so if in fact there is a time capsule where they believe one to be working for you in richmond cameron thompson cbs 6 news